Howdy folks, I want to give you another update on the Pip-Boy 3000 Mark IV Functional. Uh, so this is a project I've been working on for about three years. And uh, the goal of this entire project was to make something that was as close to a real Pip-Boy as we can get this day and age. Um, so what this is going to have is a functional screen, a functional rad gauge with functional Geiger counter both real and simulated. Uh, check out my video on my dosometer project to kind of see how that's going along, the circuitry for a real Geiger counter. Um, on here, I'll show you some of the different functions we have. We have a geared down radio knob. It's about a 9 to 1 turn ratio. A functional knob up here that has a proper to dents. On the top, we have a push button. Oh, focus camera. To dented scroll wheel. Got our power buttons. These are going to be fully illuminated. All the gauges are going to be fully illuminated. Of course, the screen's going to work. On the top is a hollow tape mechanism. And then inside are going to be the functional hollow tapes. So these are actually going to have a little circuit inside and emit a code via the red light on the back here that gets received by circuitry inside the pit boy that's all working really well the latch here on the bottom works real well and then inside Right now everything, this is a mechanical mock-up, so the circuitry inside is uh, all just uh, laser cut boards. Let's see if we can get a little closer here. So I'll have a speaker inside, on the opposite side is a microphone. This is the back of the radio circuit board with a 360 turn potentiometer. This is a four-way navigation switch. So since this is not going to be a touch screen, and this button was never defined in game, I've made it a four-way nav with push to select. Then inside here is the kind of complex hollow tape mechanism, eject mechanism. It even has a dampener, which I'm going to add a second one to this side, make it so that uh, this doesn't just kind of pop open. It has a slow eject. Uh, I want it to be a little bit uh, even slower than that. We've got the push button circuit board, the select or macro selection circuit board back there. Uh, you can barely see it, but the uh, kind of selection wheel, scroll wheel circuit board here. And then finally over here is a circuit board for the, uh, what is actually, I'm pretty sure is the gain knob. Uh, there's actually a texture for it in game, but it never ended up on the Pip boy um, So I'm going to be using this as a volume control. So the padding is going to be built into these kind of braces. They magnetically snap in. And then on the back side is the slip ring circuit board and power circuit board. So this actually connects electrically to the communications cable. And then let's see if we get this in focus here. And then this actually is this really cool mechanism that pops out. And then this turns and locks into the pit boy itself. If I get it aligned here, there we go. Uh, the retraction mechanism is kind of the last thing I've been working on right now. It does work, but it's actually a little too strong on the spring. So it's kind of the last thing I need to tweak. Um, the battery will end up here, and these four points of contact are actually electrical contacts, so that the base is also a docking station with pogo pins here, uh, a weight, some weights on the bottom, and then there'll be a USB cable inside here, so this will also connect via USB. Um, so like I said, I've been working on this for years. Right now, just kind of slowly making sure everything's perfect. Every little thing's in here, even down to the, uh, come on, focus camera. Got a little, tiny label here
And then uh, this kind of snaps shut. Once this has padding, it will work really well on the arm. You can actually just kind of loosen it up, put, your, put it in your arm, snap it shut. And this stays much more secure than even the new uh, one from uh, the wand company. Um, just simply because this latch mechanism uh, actually can be tightened. Uh, that's one of the things I did do is to ensure that this can be tightened. There's a little tiny mechanism on the back of here. Focus again. So that screw can be adjusted and that changes how tight this little clamp grabs onto here. Uh, one of the last, next things I need to do is make sure that the screen gets a curve to it. Focus. And then um, that'll be kind of the last bits of mechanics. And then uh, I need to finish the circuitry for the dosometer. It's actually, uh, you can see that on my other videos, it's working. Um, I'm laying out the circuit board now. And then a lot of that electronics will get translated directly into here. The battery charger in here, the motor control circuitry, the backlight circuitry, um, a lot of the interfacing electronics that go to the different buttons. Um, I'm all running off of an MSP430 with uh, running Arduino code on it. Um, the idea here now is that this is going to end up with a Raspberry Pi, uh, probably a Compute Module 3. And then I'm going to have to add Wi-Fi, Bluetooth to that to get this to have some kind of wireless capabilities. Uh, maybe it may end up being uh, just wired uh, with the USB connection on the back there. Um, so a lot of work gone into this. Um, I want to thank the guys over at Ultimate 3D. They, one of the fans of the project who worked there, uh, 3D printed all these parts. On, this, these are 3D printed out of SLS nylon. Um, so, let's see if I can focus again here. With SLS nylon, you get an extremely good finish, and this is actually a bad SLS finish as far as uh, you shouldn't see as many lines. And that's because this was made with used powder. Um, so this is unpainted. This is also unsanded exactly as it comes out. Uh, this is also like SLS nylon here. This one was done on Shapeways, and you can kind of see the, the different textures. So this was dyed using um, some just basically alcohol ink pens. Uh, the orange was dyed by Shapeways. Uh, one of the nice things about nylon is that you can dye it uh, ahead of time and then you can still prime and paint it. So I can pre-dye a lot of this in, uh, in a black for the different parts that need it and either leave them as black or I can go back, prime them, paint them, sand them. So, this has been a really fun project so far. Still got a long ways to go. But uh, check out the RPF thread. Basically since the very beginning of this project, I've had a project log for it that covers everything from, I mean this was before Fallout was released. It was just the announced trailer when I started this. So, uh, thanks for watching though. Check it out.